Arbitrage and hedging are two trading techniques that could help traders to get profitable results. We have now uh, with us Ron Schelling, who masters these strategies. Welcome, Ron. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's see. How could a day trader benefit from hedging and from arbitrage in their daily trading? Okay, hedging is actually not done by day traders, uh, but arbitrage can be done by day traders. So you trade one instrument against another instrument to reduce your risk. So uh, you are happy with a little profit and not with a big loss. And when do you use hedging then? Uh, hedging is done for mainly for corporate people. Uh, if you buy products abroad, you buy today, you have to pay within two or three months when the goods are delivered. And from now on, you don't know what is the dollar in two months. Uh, another way is to hedge, for example, for private people or corporate people, your portfolio of foreign stocks. If you have American stocks and you are in Europe, what is the dollar next month? Uh, it can uh, reduce your risk a lot. If you, uh, you so it saves money for the companies, basically, the hedging. A company is not allowed to speculate. If, it, if they buy it, they have to hedge their risk right away. It's not allowed for accountancy to speculate. There are a lot of rules uh, for a corporation uh, to hedge uh, such things. A lot of accounting rules. So, and, and how arbitrage is working nowadays in the actual uh, market environment? Now that volatility is speaking, spiking up a little bit in the FX market, do you think that arbitrage is helping traders or it's better in low volatility environments? Uh, arbitrage on daily basis with high volatility is nice, of course. It's a lot of opportunities. But for a corporation, they have to hedge their risk at any time. They, they are looking for, uh, not for a speculative profit, but they re reduce, they are still losing, but they reduce the risk to a gentle line of uh, value. Um, and do you, have you in your, in your large career, have you um, seen any currency pair that works better with those techniques or it works with every, everything fine? It, it works for almost everything. I mean, you are still losing, but you are losing less. You can't take the risk. Uh, what is the price next month? If you are an airliner, you have to buy constant fuel. You don't know the fuel price in two months from now. So it's better to create a gentle price, average price, than a volatile daily price. Otherwise, you can't calculate your price to fly. And how do you see now the, the, the currency market? Do you see any opportunity in a specific currency pair? Or do you think that it's better to stay out the market or to now to trade euro dollar, for instance? Uh, that's uh, difficult. I, I like uh, a lot of volatility to trade. Uh, but uh, in the, the private investor is mostly in the major currencies. They forget the nice cross rates, which are more smooth, not that volatile, long trending. Long uh, trending. Look to the Scandinavians. Nobody is looking to it. Yeah, that's right. And so and they are the, the NOK, the yeah. NOK. It's nowadays very interesting. Yeah, I, I, the Scandinavian, the um, Norwegian Central Bank, they they released a statement, I guess, one one week ago or something. Uh, I I don't know the fundamentals. It's uh, oh, okay. it's, it's a just daily. Look at the technicals. I, I look to the chart and you see uh, all nice trending markets like uh, Swedish Krone. Uh, Actually, I uh, had a good profit in Dennis Crowner. So I look mean, at, the, at the Scandinavian currencies. It's advice uh, against the euro or against the dollar? Or? It's the same. It's, it's, uh, if you buy uh, euro Scandinavian and sell uh, US dollar Scandinavian, uh -huh. you are trading euro dollar. So it's a uh, sophisticated euro dollar in that case. I see. Um, it, it's a, a synthetic you create an alternative euro dollar yeah, I see. to trade against it. 
I see. And this is, is, is that the technique yeah, yeah. that you use, that yeah, you yeah. usually just need to copy the move for you? Uh, many, many trade uh, Swiss franc US dollar or uh -huh. US dollar Swiss franc, Euro Swiss franc, which is uh, uh, the net currency Euro dollar. Yeah, I see. Uh, and you can trade on the other side the real Euro dollar, which, which makes the uh, daily arbitrage. Of course, it's more expensive. You pay three times your cost uh, for three currencies, but you reduce your risk. And I'm happy if I make something. I mean, I, not I'm not greedy. Yeah, we we had an interview previous to this one, and you said that you are not greedy. That you base your successful your success in in the currency market, but by being not greedy and yeah, yeah. staying disciplined and yeah. focused. Uh, what I see is uh, still uh, all the techniques and all the software you have. People are not trading better. Uh, last time they say. Uh, they can't believe my words that 95% of the people are losing money, but it still is. Yeah, but about about that that last uh, data, um, the huge number of traders that lose money in the markets um, make you to believe that not everyone is is uh, prepared to be a trader. Correct. Or every sure. do, what specific skills do I need? The, the, I think the mistake they make is big leverage to, to be rich with a little money. Uh, of course, the discipline, the leverage, I call it a killer. My leverage is four or five maximum and not 100. And I diversify my trading in other things like uh, uh, IBEX, German DAX, uh -huh. which you can trade against each other. So to uh, spread your risk. Okay, yeah. so spread the risk, yeah. low leverage, yes, yes. and stay focused, focused and disciplined, yeah. and also to look at the Scandinavian currencies. I, I think so. Uh, maybe it's also good to look to uh, like uh, other currencies in, uh, but, but you cannot do everything. I mean, uh, if you look to uh, Euro Canada, U Euro Australian, it's that are the majors, but not the Scandinavians. And you can create create your own index with, with all the instruments and possibilities you have today, and trade against it. To trade against the. Uh, I go long in the, in the my own build uh, currencies against the Euro dollar, so reducing risk. I'm happy with less and less risk. Okay, so we've learned that arbitrage is a, is a really profitable way to reduce risk when you trade. Thank you, Ron, yeah, for being with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.